I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombra. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephia. Goodbye, Gris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Well, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> One last thing. Before I go. You won't be able to break the next Fell Dragon shard. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily. But those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult. And then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others. But I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains. Or drain the lake. Please. Take this. An enchanted crystal that will bring that location... ...in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects. Small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude? That drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you. I've paid a steep price. Sophia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. <laughs> you two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... difficult to control. I would control them in time, but not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close. I'm feeling that it's just the right thing to do. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you'd told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven! Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. Huh? I can be kind, just this once. Because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this happened. So, I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. I don't understand you. Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow older. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? <laughs> Let's go, Vale. Yes, go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Zephia.
thank you for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. I don't know. I was just about to say, huh? I really don't know what to say to that. Apart from I in that situation would be a little bit sketched out. Like, we didn't see her die. What if she's still alive? And what if that crystal summons her and, like, super powerful to the next battle? No, I, yes. I assume that with a plot that, you know, goes the way that this game has, that it probably is exactly what it said it was. But, uh, you know, <laughs> realistically, that's what I would have thought there. And okie doke, have a good rest of the night there, Chaos. Appreciate you stopping by, Four Hounds are family. There was truth in those words. Do not end as family. Yes. So, the Four Hounds are no more. I don't have any regrets. Still, I am a little sad. Well, hi. Yes. May I better show in the expect? May it bring us once closer to peace? Yep. It totally did. Ha. Ah. I am sorry. That was grueling. Worse, it reflected poorly on me. Nope. It did not. Don't worry, you did well. Don't worry about it. You're just fine. Oh, on all sides by a sea of flames. It's unwise to linger here, Divine. Yeah, I won't linger oh, well, here too much longer. Well. I don't mind harsh places, but it is too hot here, no? A lengthy battle could get uncomfortable. I've already spent like, what, four hours here across my failed attempt and then this attempt? Zappy! <laughs> I mean, I, that's all I needed to hear. It's like death awaits us at every step here. If I lived in this place, I'd spend all my time praying. And doesn't seem like a great place to be. Definitely reminds me of the, uh... Not the Battle of the Eagle Online, but the, uh... What is the chapter name? Where it's like the actual war phase, the sorrow of the Eagle Online? I don't know. I survived this place. I swear I will stuff my face with all my favorite foods. I've gotten so used to combat that I cringe to think how sheltered I was growing up. Thanks for the bond fragments. I will take this. Okay, I'll use a bit of iron ingots. Meditation is much more difficult in this heat. I imagine it would be. Apologies. That battle was hard on these old bones. I hope I didn't worry you too much. When it comes to meditation, though, oh, I'll talk to Anna first. <laughs> getting stronger. We should celebrate. I think I've got some sweets in stock. I love how Anna became my unit that I was taking along just for the sake of grinding some more gold on the side. And then she actually genuinely became one of my best units. Um, anyway, when it comes to meditation, I actually like meditating under heat where I can. Like, sometimes if I'm just in the shower, I'll go on to, like, knees kind of meditation, close fist on the, on the knees, and slowly turn up the heat, like, bit by bit there, and try to focus just so much purely on meditation that... I'm not paying as much attention to the heat. Of course, once I break my concentration, I begin to realize how scorching hot it is, and it's like, ah! Um, think I didn't know, so you got stronger, didn't you? Got my eye on you, I can tell. But yeah, that's how I meditate yeah. sometimes. Better keep an eye on me, Divine One. Game more powerful by the second. Yeah, you are. You're still very rarely going to be used to actually kill enemies, mm -hmm. but uh, I should be proud after taking down so many foes. Why do I instead feel rather sad? Oh, because a couple hours went to waste last time? I don't know. Well, Might be my imagination, but I feel like I may have improved a bit. It's slight, but it's there. Definitely there. You wink. Ooh, that's good. That is definitely really nice. I will gladly take that. But yeah, so from that perspective, I think this would be an interesting place to meditate. <laughs> but that's just me. Oh my. So Makit is quaint next to this. We we'll have to move on before one of us passes out. Yeah. Does seem like a pretty crazy area. Hmm? Is that some kind of seaweed growing over there? Do you uh, think it's edible? What are you talking about? <laughs> Remaining in this scorched land will lead to our exhaustion. Let us leave once the patrol is done. Yeah. Let me just wrap that up quickly. <sighs> Took up more enemies than usual. I'm so wiped out, I don't even have energy to sing. But you have energy to give me 100 bond fragments. Sweet. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Hi. Oh, man. Probably not the best idea to go jogging here, huh? Watch my step. Watch where I step if I were you. Yeah. This is why you don't want to dig straight down in Minecraft, after all. I guess I'll go to world map and see if some other 
set skirmishes appear, or if it says a skirmish has appeared on the divine pair. Oh. Oh, time to switch sides my word i thought they had killed you what you think i'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once in a lifetime pain this is the good stuff i gotta savor every last drop would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery not gonna lie that's really the reason you were playing dead <laughs> even at the end you're an odd man how come you told him about the shard? Like I said, I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted just like that? Does that seem fair? Now that they know about the shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavia, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. Huh? The four hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Chris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted. Staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no. It's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are. A family. I thank you. You drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore. That subtitle at the bottom stuck around for way longer than it should have, but that was honestly a really cool scene. It really su why am I turning on the doggy cam? My goodness. And now it suddenly makes a whole lot set more sense for her reasons than what we got before. Before I was like, oh, that seems pretty silly and like, why? Huh? But after that, it's like, oh, okay, that's actually, th that was actually pretty good. I do have to say. 
Huh. I will do this paralogue sometime before being the full game, but I might do the next story chapter. Yeah, that part I liked. I do have to say that part I did like. But yeah, that was really sad there. But it's really interesting when games, or just stories in general, show that there was a possibility of things going a different way, that it didn't necessarily have to be this way. Like when Raiden faced Senator Armstrong, it didn't have to be this way. Well, the opposite of when Raiden, well, you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> unlike there. But yeah, I am curious to see what happens in the coming bits. So yeah, I'll probably do that. I think, so we broke the first shard, there's two more. And then probably final boss. So I can probably do like the next two and then the paralogue. Most likely. How many conversations do I have right now, anyway? A decent few. So this will probably... After those cutscenes, this will probably be like a two-parter exploration. When I cut this up later. You know. That's what it'll probably be. Zephyr's crystal will help us with the next Fell Dragon Shard. I'm ready when you are. Yeah. We'll go there in a bit here. Let me just, you know, stock up on all the things I gotta stock up on around here. But yeah. Yeah. I guess there is that. With the, uh... With the DLC, we have, uh... The super wholesome, like, Zephia? Not Zephia. Zelestia, I believe the name is there. I just know from my spreadsheets is all I uh, is all I really know here. And from what I've seen in the trailers and stuff. And Gris is Gregory instead. And he, uh, and he really doesn't like pain at all. He's like, no, please. Anything but that. Um, I don't know if there's any difference with Marnie. I saw that the, uh, or Madeline as she is in the DLC. But... I remember seeing in the uh, trailer that she was like, oh, I was never snot nose, so I guess she's not uh, not like that. I'm just going to use my NFC tags because I'm too lazy to stand up. That and yesterday, for the first time yet this year, I uh, went back to Taekwondo training because, you know, now that this university semester is largely wrapped up and I have a little bit more time, part of me is still debating about, like, should I just commit that time to things like video editing, the Scarlet and Violet video essay, and I might still on a lot of days until I wrap that up. But yesterday, I just wanted to change a, a bit of a change of pace. So, I went into I went into Taekwondo. I did some training. We did some intense leg stuff. My legs are really, really sore. I feel semi-glued to my chair. I'm really achy. <laughs> I'm in pain from that. Maybe not as much pain as uh, Gris was there, but my muscles, they hurt. <laughs> a decent smidge. So, I'm going to try my best to get back into shape and stuff here. Because I'm a smidge out of shape. But, you know, I've talked before about how since it's been so long since I've, you know, gone and worked out and stuff there. That my body has felt all limp and useless and weird. And I don't like that feeling. Now I feel in pain. But if I work towards getting back my physical abilities and stuff like that, I can feel... I can go back to feeling able again, you know? So, here's hoping. So, I'm going to work towards that on the side here. I'll probably only start going ham again on, like, Taekwondo training once, uh, once the video essay project that I'm currently working on is done. But we shall see. Also, I found out from the class that there's a testing at the end of the month. Like, so, about a little bit over a week and a half from now. And I guess that means that I could go and once again try to, uh, break six boards in one hit and finally properly secure my, uh, third degree black belt but like after so long of not training is it really feasible to just like be working out for a couple weeks and then is the chat bugged i guess so um catch. Nicely done. is it really feasible to be working out for a couple weeks trying to get back into it and then try to break a stack of six boards in one kick uh man uh, but yeah Man's very much the honorable soldier. Also, a hilarious item. The boss drops in chapter 24, so please look at their inventory, then realize the joke. I mean, I already looked up the items that you get from it, just because I know, like, the last handful of chapters is where you no. get things like legendary weapons and stuff, and I don't really want to miss any, you know, is the case. So I do know the three significant drops of the next chapter is the case. Great success. I suppose fishing is Canisaria eel. From, like, I literally during the last cutscenes, I just looked up the uh, chapter 24 thing where Bob's just to make sure that I wasn't missing any of the items. I do have all the legendary weapons on my spreadsheet for, like, what chapter you get them in, but I didn't feel like scanning through to find all the chapter 24 ones. There's two of them there. Um, and, you know, just to make sure that I for sure wasn't missing anything, just to be safe, I just looked it up, so... 
I've seen like the title of who the boss is. I don't know how exactly they come to be or how it makes any sense. I guess I'll find out here shortly. Do you want to keep going? <laughs> Okie doke. Where were you thinking? But yeah, so we'll uh we'll see what comes of that. But yeah, so I am glad that I was able to get through that last chapter without much in the way issues. Only needing to use the one charge of my time crystal and just because Linden got randomly critted. No. So I am glad that going all out does seem to be uh, working just fine. But yeah, I think I am just going to see through the last little smidges of this playthrough with going all out. <laughs> Been stuck around then ever since. Performance. Extra large whale. One fragments obtained. Where were you thinking? But yeah, in terms of a uh, terms of real life stuff going on right now that I can chat about in the meantime, the biggest thing is honestly like the biggest thing that's been on my mind since yesterday is just, do I go to this testing? Do I do it? Like, I'm sure I have the strength to do it, but, like, do I have the exact technique down? It. I mean, A stunning performance. I don't know how much of it really I'm goes impressed. away. Do you want to keep Realistically, if I just keep on attempting it, like, every chance I get, I know that I can do it. The best I've done is five out of six boards, which is darn near unheard of. Because if you're breaking multiple boards at once, typically you either break all of them, None of them, or the back one to two. There's usually not much in between, but somehow I managed to <laughs> get five out of six at one point. <sighs> what a, uh, what a world, huh? So, I, I don't know how much my strength and abilities would have diminished. I suppose like, I was getting pretty out of breath control. pretty easily while training yesterday. But in terms of my physical abilities and technique and stuff, it didn't feel like it was that far gone. It was just, I was getting exhausted a lot easier because I haven't done it in a good while. So maybe I can, I don't know. The smartest thing to do would just be to attempt it anyway. But uh, <laughs> it's scurry. It's the really scurry. But yeah, maybe I'll figure out what exact day it is and uh, maybe go in. Maybe, maybe. But my goodness, it is a. Uh, it is certainly something, I must say. Oh, yeah. I, I remember I was chatting with my neighbor about it at one point and I had mentioned that, like, we were on a different subject, but we were talking about, like, just connections and friends and stuff like that and i had mentioned that the last time that i had gone testing for that well not the last time but several years ago for one of the initial times that i was testing for that that i had felt a little bit lonely and isolated while i was up there because I suppose there wasn't i didn't have anyone results. there any friends or family that were there while i was facing like the hardest physical forward? challenge in my life um Where were you thinking? during more recent times recent attempts i have had like family and friends come by like i had my little cousins come by to watch and cheer me on while i was attempting it i didn't pass that one but i passed the other thing that i needed to pass which was three kicks in midair scissor roundos kicks so at least i got that one done um but when i was telling my neighbor this she was like what you didn't have anyone there tell me the next time that you're uh that you're doing it and i'll come and cheer you on and th that was really sweet <laughs> So maybe that'll be the uh, maybe that'll be the thing to do. So there's that. Sibling has been binging MGR. Was that Metal Gear Rising for the last six hours and just reached our shop? So yeah, Metal Gear Rising. Um, next is the first three Halo games to binge there. Definitely some nice games in the mix from what I've heard. I suppose about them. I haven't played them yet myself. I might start. Speaking of Metal Gear, I might actually finally start Metal Gear Solid, like maybe next month. Where were you thinking? Because usually every May I do a 24-hour charity stream, but you know I haven't exactly scheduled or made any announcements about anything right now because things have been all over the place. But it's like, huh? It's both that time of year. I should probably figure something out. And Tears of the Kingdom is coming out next month. So in the back of my head, I'm thinking, hmm, Metal Gear Solid. Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe Firewatch that I was thinking about streaming during the last 24 hour cherry stream but couldn't get to. Maybe Metroid Prime Hunters, which was a similar situation. Maybe, maybe. 
So I'm uh, I'm thinking about it. And interestingly enough, um, the charity that we typically fundraise for in May, Larch, which is this not profit, not for profit organization that helps those with developmental disabilities. Last year, after the craziness of how that turned out, and you know, Mia, uh, there wasn't a way during the November 24 hour charity streams, I go through Extra Life. So it goes through an external platform and goes right to the hospitals that are raised for, typically being the Stoller Jones Hospital around here. But for Larch, it just like there isn't a way that I can have it be donated directly to Larch while showing up as alerts on screen. So I essentially have it go through me and then I just make like a big donation. So I dropped two grand on them last year after the uh, craziness of the 24 hour cherry stream. Most of that being from the crazy mad lad Guzma and, uh, you know, got to chatting with, uh, you know, they reached out to me after being like, wait, who, uh, like, what's going on here? That's a super massive donation. This view makes you realize how insignificant we all are, but I feel insignificant wherever I go. Poor Alchrist. Um, and anyway, when you donate to them, there is an option to have it be on behalf of my Dojang for, like, the organization that's here. Their place here, at least. Um, and I checked that box because it's like, we usually do a uh, fundraiser through the Dojang and stuff, but it couldn't happen. So I was like, oh, let's just, uh, let's just do this then. I'll do the 24 hour cherry stream as we often do. And you know, help, uh, help support this organization during a time that the Dojang that would normally be helping to support it couldn't because of COVID and stuff. Um, so I did that and they were like, wait, are you like a representative of that, uh, of that Dojang? And the answer was like, no, I'm just a, I'm just a student there. Like I'm a long time student there, but you know, I feel very inspired by the work that they've done and you know, stuff like that that I do. My chat's bugged out again. So I just do that. And, uh, you know, so I probably should do another one in May because we have been doing one in May for the past several years. Um, and my schedule should open it up, up enough to do it. I'll need to schedule something and figure it out. Um, but anyway, after, uh, after that and talking with some representatives from there, I actually got invited to the organization's anniversary. I believe it was the 50th anniversary, if I recall. That was like last November-ish. I'm pretty sure I postponed the other 24 hour charity stream that we were doing so I could make it to that event that they invited me to. So that was really cool. I'm meeting a bunch of people and <laughs> some of them there when they, uh, when I had mentioned who I was after they asked, they were like, oh, it's you. You're the one that did that uh, crazy 24 hour cherry stream. Anyway, when it comes to May 24 hour cherry streams, they've let me know that if I do another one of those that I can let them know and they'll post it on their socials <sighs> promoting it. Small fire puts me in a quiet mood, but a big fire that puts me in the mood to party. So anyway, I probably should figure out some stuff in the near future for May 24 hour cherry stream. By the time this gets published on YouTube, May will have already come and gone. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I should probably figure out something for a May 24 hour cherry stream. And uh, if I let them know, they'll apparently post it on their own socials, which, you know, I guess makes sense since it is something that, you know, helps support their organization. But that's really cool. That is really cool. Anyway. Yeah, let's see here. Give the Xbox 360 to them having a time of it. We assume limits to Guzma's power. <laughs> there are none. Could well be. An Xbox 360 could be a good console. I own an Xbox 360, but I own like almost no games. It's blasphemous. But oh well. Um, don't need to go through three fourths of a Soulsborne like that one cherry stream. I'm almost tempted to do that for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Not go through three fourths of it, but just do a lot of it because it'll be like the new hip trending thing. So I figure I should at least do it after the release of Tears of the Kingdom so I can incorporate that. Also, it seems like the Doogie's at the ready to come downstairs. So I'll be uh, I'll be back down in like a minute. I need to get up slowly because my legs are actually really, really sore. Ow. Ow, that's stiff. Alright, I make my grand return here. 
Whoa, time to not get up from this chair for the next several hours again. <laughs> My goodness, Dark Souls 3 playthrough is mostly in the cherry stream. So has me shocked they even did that even with you wanting a break before Elden Ring. Yeah, it, uh, hi. Yeah, one game for a super long period of time like that. Especially one <laughs> that could be as challenging as, say, Dark Souls. Is the uh, challenging slash frustrating, maybe. It's <laughs> a better way to put it. Certainly something. Like, my, uh, my goodness gracious. I definitely wouldn't mind doing an extended uh, Tears of the Kingdom thing. But, like, you know, might need to take a smidge of a chill pill. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. I'll probably be done with Fire Emblem Engage by then. Dude, I could... <sighs> I was about to say, maybe that would be the time to properly start Blazing Blade, but if that might be too soon. <laughs> I might need a little bit more of a breather. Like, if I do have Engage done by then, it will have just recently been finished, most likely, by that point, so maybe not the best idea. It would be pretty cool having a little smidge of Blazing Blade for the sake of the charity stream, but like, at the same time. Ooh, I don't know about that. Still Dark Souls 3 is pretty much perfect final boss for this series, so that was a great highlight. Yeah, I do like the final boss that game. Our critters are amazing, but any animal you can play with and pet like this is great too. Yeah, absolutely. So, um... Slept here for a thousand years. You must have had some amazing dreams in that time. I hope so, I don't know. Hmm. Care of a new animal means figuring out its favorite food. I wonder what this one likes. My doggie's favorite food is chicken. So... Samuel has a training space. Oh, I wish I could spar with my brother after so long. I mean, maybe you can? I don't know how the two emblems within one ring thing works. Oh, great. Exactly what I wanted. I still haven't given it to a single person in this playthrough. That item. You just see. Hey. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be talking too much about achiness when you're the achiest one here. With your old bones. Or doggie. Wink, spirit gem. Hi. Ah. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> I sure did indeed. Yeah, I think I am just gonna be going all out in the uh, last handful of chapters. So yeah, two more crystals, one paralogue, and final boss. So we have like four maps left, I believe, and then there's DLC and stuff, which I hear is pretty this. challenging. <laughs> but you know, we're almost there. In terms of main game, I'm not beating it today, but. Perfect. You know, it might be a feasible next stream kind of thing. Maybe it's Looking crazy good. that this is already a 20 stream series. I was this. not imagining this series to be this long when I first started. I just see. You can only see Looking her legs good. right now in the doogie cam. Keep it up. <laughs> You're happy, aren't you? You've got this. You. Perfect. Perfect. Great success. Perfect. Looking Earlier good. today, I was working on editing the uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video essay. I'm working on the soundtrack section right now. And the soundtrack section is literally the easiest chapter of them all to edit because it's just like, here's a little smidge of commentary Looking about good. each theme at the beginning and then just let it play for like 30 seconds to a minute Perfect. to, you know, show what the theme is like and stuff. And then move on to the next one there. Um, so, you know... I'm adding up time for it really quickly. It's already at like 45 minutes long. I've only started working on it like a few days ago. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's way easier to edit than any of the others. The chapter afterwards of uh, graphics, visuals, and aesthetics there um, is going to be back to a very, very long one to edit. But it'll be the last main one. The last main massive thing that I need to edit. Well, there's also the conclusion chapter, which will also be about the same thing. But whatever. You know, I'm getting there. Yeah, I really like the soundtrack. When I started listening through it for that- Whoa! He actually did it! Yeah, it probably will end up being that. It's, that's also going to be where I'm going to have, like, the glitches. I was debating about whether I was going to have glitches in the graphics or the, uh, or the gameplay chapter. I decided the graphics chapter is where I would have it. So, there's going to be a decent bit about that, too. So, you know. Yeah, he did the, uh, he did the thing. Pretty cool. 15 HP and cure poison. 
So antitoxin is literally just better. In that case. I used to think for the longest time that it was just curing poison. Anyway, so I'm getting there in terms of the uh, in terms of the project. I've been working on the soundtrack chapter most recently. Like? There isn't a massive ton of really funny edits that I can do for that, since nice it's more. This is mostly just like, hey, here's the music. This is the way that is. But for some of the more serious slappers, I have been amassing a lot of like dancing memes and stuff, and it's <laughs> surprisingly hard to find dancing memes as many as I would have. Uh, as many as I would have liked, but I've been amassing a whole bunch of shots or like scenes in games of characters dancing. Like, uh, there's a jam and cat gif. I don't know what this is. I know that there's like the jam and dog thing where Bob that, you know, people have green screened and is some big thing. And I decided to put that green screened over Arvin's Maboss diff because <laughs> that cracked me up. So that was a good one. Um, I decided to yoink. Guzma's shit post of a uh, take on me that he did with the various team skull characters and then Lunala going absolutely crazy right at the end um, during one section for the team star grunt battle theme and I DM'd Guzma earlier today being like hey I st I yoinked your shit post because it's funny and I don't know what else to use here you know was the uh was the case so I yoinked that go ahead and do the doogie cam there. I uh, <laughs> put in a Devil May Cry dancing scene for one bit there. For the Team Star Grunt battle theme, I might have put that like a super overused but still really funny <laughs> model somebody made of Thanos dancing and twerking alongside the Team Star Grunts and about, you know, the same size as the Team Star Grunt so it looks like he's just there with them. <laughs> in this shot because that cracked me up but yeah I can't find high quality one but DM'd you the gif whoa so I'll know what to look for take a look see later then wow in terms of where I'm at in the soundtrack I'm just about to start the uh area zero stuff so all the uh other path stuff I have soundtrack done for now at least so I have like 15 minutes of script left to make, I think, but the thing only started at, gosh dang it, at 45, which isn't as long as the others. And it's the only chapter that gets longer as I edit it, like in terms of script. Most of them will be like, here's an hour and a half of script narration, and that'll get edited down to like, you know, maybe an hour, maybe 50 minutes, something like that. Soundtrack is the only one that gets longer just because I do like a tiny little smidge of narration and then just let the theme play out, you know? is the only one that actually gets longer as I edit it. So when I look at the script length, I'm like, huh, I have this much left. Nope. There's actually quite a decent bit more runtime than that. So yeah. <laughs> so there be that. Difficulty level expert. In fact, I think I still have the project open on, uh, on my computer. So believe your theory that Area Zero is the prototype level for the game? Yeah. With all the, uh, all the mechanics and stuff that are there, it could well be. Oh, I'm on Penny's theme right now. That's what I'm doing. So I'm working on that bit. So, like, it's super easy going, the, uh, the soundtrack stuff at least. So this is what I've been working on editing-wise recently. So, yeah, working on Penny's theme. Here's this script. So it's just, like, the script is just, like, little tads like that. And then mostly just letting things play out. So it's, like, so chill and easy going compared to, like, any other chapter that I can make, you know? It's a, uh, it's quite nice. That's a Team Star Grunt, right? Yeah, the, I love this theme. The Team Star Grunt theme is amazing. So I kind of might have put like a whole lot of, you know, <laughs> dancing shit post kind of thing around. That's a Devil by Cry one there. So there's a, there's a whole lot of things. But yeah, I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was pretty funny though. <laughs> so, you know, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> that's what I've been working on editing wise over the past several days but that was why I edited just earlier today <laughs> until next time cracked me up so yeah progress continues to go on this project bit by bit bit by bit slowly here 
I'm getting through. Just like I'm bit by bit slowly getting through this game. Even though I have lots of uploads for this game, whereas I don't for some other series like Octopath Traveler that I need to get more on top of, I kind of want to see this game through sooner rather than later so I can put up my video covering my spreadsheet. You know, I mean, I could just do it earlier, but I want to beat the game first and then be able to actually try some things out, you know? Just to be uh, just to be safe. I want it to be like a video that doesn't get outdated later when it's like, oh, oops, I was wrong. I want one definitive one to rule them all. Living here is comfortable, yes? I'm a traveler by nature, but I rather like settling down here. Trying to play it safe. All that. Indeed. Grow fond of life in your home. Thank you for letting me stay despite the trouble I cause. Nah. Cause trouble here. Hi. <sighs> Somnial is awash in sense. Plants, water, soil, the food being prepared by today's chef. Cool. 